Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Thursday. I start. I thought about setting it up outside, but uh, the wind is quite brisk out there. I didn't know how that would come over on the sound recording uh, for this video. So I'm inside today, but it's still sunshiny and beautiful out there. And like I said, breezy. Uh, the rain has moved through though, so um, get out and enjoy the day if you can. It should be a, should be a nice one. And if you can uh, stand up straight and or find some place out of the wind to shelter in, so that, that'd be wonderful. How are you all doing? Check in time. I pray and hope that you are still safe and healthy and well. Uh, if you have a comment or a question, you can post that below. I do have my coffee here in our Grounds and Hounds coffee mug. Happiness can't be bought, but it can be rescued. So, cheers, church. Grounds and Hounds is an organization that... Uh, uh, sells coffee and donates a bunch of the proceeds to uh, various uh, dog shelters around the country. So, good cause. All of our dogs, Bear and Liney and Honey, were all uh, animal shelter dogs, um, rescue dogs. So, uh, they were all wonderful, mostly. <laughs> so, today our uh, devotional comes from The Word in Season. It's written by Pastor Elizabeth Jager from St. Luke Lutheran Church in Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin. So, uh, the scripture reading is Psalm 119, verses 33 to 40. Psalm 119, 33 to 40. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will observe it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Turn my heart to your decrees and not to selfish gain. Turn my eyes from looking at vanities. Give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise, which is for those who fear you. Turn away the disgrace that I dread, for your ordinances are good. See, I have, lo I have longed for your precepts. In your righteousness, give me life. The devotion is titled, Time After Pentecost. Interesting title. And the verse, theme verse is verse 38. Confirm to your servant your promise. Recently, I had the occasion to review the Ten Commandments in a Sunday sermon and asked the congregation to help me list them. Their memories got better as they went along, but at first they were a bit rusty. Today's reading suggests we need to keep in tune with God's teachings. Psalm 119 is a celebration of God's law. It is the longest chapter in the Psalter, using various synonyms to designate the word of God. There are eight different terms used in these eight verses of today's reading, including the word promise. Martin Luther treasured this psalm so highly that he, he said he would take the whole world in exchange for one leaf of it. As a young monk, Luther struggled with the devil's attacks against the truthfulness of the promises of God. His only defense was to wield God's word as a weapon against them. The purpose of Psalm 119, the law, and the rest of the Bible is, <coughs> excuse me, is singular, to remind us of the goodness of God. As we read this psalm, we remember that God is faithful to us and cares for us no matter what. So how is your memory of the Ten Commandments? Can you list them off without, without looking? One, no other gods. Two, no taking God's name in vain. Three, remember the Sabbath. Four, honor your father and mother. Five, do not kill. Six, do not commit adultery. Seven, do not steal. Eight, do not bear false witness. Nine, do not cover, covet your neighbor's house. Ten, do not covet anything that is your neighbor's. How'd you do? Get some of them right at least, I hope. Did you know that there is a, an app, a small catechism app that you can get for your phone? I hope you do, because I've mentioned it before on these devos. 
and I mentioned it in uh, various places around church too when we used to meet. If you search the App Store on your smartphone and look, you know, uh, just search Luther Small Catechism, look for the one with the darker red background with the leaves on it, and it kind of looks like our ELW hymnal, download it. It's kind of a neat thing to have on your phone. You can look up the Ten Commandments anytime you want. And those, those commandments and Psalm 119, our reading for today, remind us that God is good and that God is faithful and that God loves you deeply and always. And that is good news we all need to hear. So be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church, and keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, practice that physical distancing, and wear your masks if you're out. As the body of Christ in the world, we share love for our neighbor, and we share the light of Christ. Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for the gift of your word, a reminder of your goodness. Amen. See you tomorrow for another fun t-shirt Friday Devo. Peace. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.